Love Light Greetings, Gratitude, Blessings and Blessings, Soul Family, My Divinity to Yours. Welcome if you are new and welcome back if you are returning. I thank you for your Love Light support, appreciation, participation, your comments. And for uniting your hearts, your higher consciousness, for the greater and grander support of the paradigm shift that is waiting as impatiently as you are for this transition, transiting into transcendence. I continue to encourage you to bless you, to motivate you. And I thank you for every effort you are putting in a little or large way, an active or passive way. It all counts and you are applauded, commended, supported and protected. Thank you. Today is the 1st of May, 2024 a brand new month. Five is the vibration of the date we sit in, the energy of change. I will talk about this in greater detail in another video. The two readings I did, one on Prince Louis and the other on Prince George. I have read and responded to some of your comments. There's a lot to still get through. I do know your hearts are aching and so is mine. It is always difficult to read on the children and my heart, my voice, my entire energetic system is still ruffled by what I feel in a greater, deeper way than you could ever imagine from how I express it. As a mother, as a woman, many of you can resonate with what it feels like when a child is in pain of any kind and it is worse when a little one or little ones are calling out for the one that they love so much and loves them so much and they cannot get any closer to that. Some of you feel like you want to give up. What is all this light work about? Why are we wasting our time? Are we wasting our time? Because the dark just continually gets away with what they're doing. But let me say to you, if you give up, it is a choice of yours and you have every right to your choice, your opinion at free will. But what I will say is, you then extend yourself to the wrong team. You then feel and empower the team that at the back of your mind, you were saying, we win in the end. And that is no good for the work we're trying to do, the work we are doing. It is for us to look past, to look beyond, and it is not easy for many of us to do that, given the circumstances of our daily difficulties, our struggles for life, what is going on, what the media is projecting, etc, etc. It is difficult and it has been for, for generations, for lifetimes. But it is so many of them that have continued and we are here now for that collapse. Do you want to give up? Do you not want to stand? Even if you stand alone, I have for many years. I have for many years stood alone. I have faced enormous 
attack and abuse and the list goes on but not once have I said I will give up I may have joked about I just give up I can't do this and spirit knows I have been at war with them for this reason and many more but at the end of the day at the end of the moment in the now I've never given up I would not be here I trust I believe I don't hope because if we hope it will be a constant hoping for a hope I trust I have faith I believe and I action I have to be the example for the change that I seek. There's no good naming and blaming and shaming. It is not our work to do. I have said before, it is not our place to judge, to criticize and to be advocates, to make the ruling. We have a council of light because our justice system on this world does not do the justice we want and need. So the councils of light are the true and only true justice system. Everyone that does anything wrong, says anything wrong, or any injustice in this world intently, especially intently, consciously, knowingly, is part of a team, will be charged, will be trialed, and will go through what they need to in different lifetimes. And you think, oh, well, what point does that make? We will never get to see it. You will. You will be in a different body right next to them, watching them. And that is why there is so much of what is going on at the moment that we also perceive as an injustice. But let me say to you, a lot of these energies that are going through difficulties now that are being executed that are being abused that are going through so much are part of that regime that are now coming out to face the justice for the injustices they have caused so in and amongst the masses of innocent lives are those that are present to experience what it was to abuse to rape to murder to execute to be part of a syndicate, to be an alibi to something, to engineer injustice, they're all part of it. We just do not know who is who. And there are those souls that have volunteered to be sacrificed so they can be our teachers. The lessons. So it is not our place at all to point the finger. We do not know the life plans. We do not know all the details. And that is why Spirit says, do only what you're supposed to do. Leave the rest to us. So we are not saying that we will pick and choose five out of a thousand people that are, they are the ones that are volunteers of sacrifice and lessons and the rest are just serving their karma. It is our work regardless of what happened, how it happened, why it is happening, is to say love, light, for the higher and greater good. So those energies that are here to balance karmic debt, do it fulfilledly. They do not leave something incomplete to come back and create that scenario. And the ones that have chosen to sacrifice their lives, and everything else, whether it's a little child, an adult, or an elderly. They have volunteered because they too have been part of a system in the past and they have chosen in this life to volunteer in a dual function, to be part of that clearing of an injustice life and of course to be a teacher for a greater lesson. So I want you to see things from a different perspective and a different understanding. And we often say, but a child so little, so young has gone through this or that, and it's so cruel. Of course it is. It is reminding us 
that in never at all we should have begun a single, not a single, bit of cruelty in this world. It is from that beginning that it is where it is now. And many have been part of that. Many have been victims of that. The cycles are closing. I want you to heed this. The cycles are dismantling. It is ending. It is cleansing. It is purifying to make way for the new earth. We want to transcend into a new earth. So when we return here, we do not have systems like this. Injustices like this. Pain and suffering. Poverty. Right? You are all part of this. If you give up, it is your choice. Then you will repeat these poverty cycles and victim cycles and injustice cycles, the dark cycles. You will remain there until you learn it. Spirit is not waving a wand and saying, sorry, you've done it 20 times. You don't want to learn the lesson. I'll just put it right for you. It's not going to be like that, ever. This is very critical. Our timeline here, if you are breathing and you're living here, you're part of this for a reason. You have been given another opportunity to make it right, to help it come right. And with the children too, we do not know their previous incarnations in details. We do not know what they have caused suffering to others. We do not know everything. Not just the royal children, but other children. But what I am saying is, it does not mean that they should be suffering in any way now. Because with hearts and compassion and emotion that run so deep in all of us that are here, and I read it in your comments, your anger is not just anger. Your anger is that you're tired of this. You are fed up, you are frustrated, and of course you vent that way. But I see it differently because I too can respond angrily to you. But I don't do that. I pacify you. Why? Because you need to transform your anger. You need to purify it. I don't want to fuel it. So understand that when you comment, when you feel emotional, I hear you. I feel you. I don't just respond. Even if I send you a broken heart, I feel your heart. I too am broken. It is easy to sit and listen to a video. It is easy to comment on it, but to go through it like I am and others are that are reading on this energy in its truth and its accuracy. You do not understand what it means for us. And again, I do not make the cards jump out of the deck. I do not control the cards that jump out of the deck. I make every effort to bring it onto the camera to show you what is showing itself. Spirit is doing that. I try best to interpret what they are saying and I can get just one word and I've got to bring it to you. I've got to wait for other cards to come in so they point out what the message is. Spirit doesn't give us paragraphs. They're cryptic. They're discreet. Right. And also understand that we cannot get everything as we want it now. We fixate on something that has a timeline of free will and currency and energy to change. And then it's, yes, but your reading said this and your reading said that. Yes, I do understand at the currency of energy, that's what it said. But everything can and will change. So we have to regularly revisit the energy to determine the progress or the change. So enough said, I am reading now further because yesterday was too much for me to continue in either of the children's reading in a greater length than I did. So today I have set aside to revisit the energy specifically on the two boys because that's who we've read, and to determine their father's role in their lives. So that's what we're concentrating on today.
divine spirit by the father creator I welcome your energy I invite invoke your presence your love your light your protection over me this platform and all our listeners these beautiful members of this family the ones that I commend personally for their trust and belief their their emotion their compassion their affection and what is happening I also ask that you bring in the energy of Prince William Prince George and Prince Louis and their higher selves and their divine soul selves for you to express what we need to know I have questions but I do respect what you need to say which might mean much more than what I am asking thank you This deck will be for Prince William's energy. I have the Seven of Cups, which is a whole lot of confusion, distraction, lack of clarity, ego getting in the way. He's just hazy and fuzzy in this energy. Cloudy, temperance in, in reverse, trying to find his balance, showing off that he's Swaying, let's use that word, swaying. He's between energies, there's not much stability. He's trying to find it. The Three of Pentacles, we're talking about his three children. Today we're talking about two, but he's got three children. Right, that's his greatest wealth. That is his asset. Right, we have the devil. Clearly showing us the energy is in darkness right now. And healing is required with the high priestess eight of cups walking away avoiding leaving behind not paying attention right i'm stopping there divine spirit please reveal to us prince william's energetic state right now How is Prince William's energy right now? All right, we have the Fool. Right. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Empress, the World, and the King of Swords. I'm taking two only. He knows they are missing their mother. He knows that she's in a lot of pain wherever she is energetically he knows the pain she's been through he understands it the facade to the world and what the world is projecting towards him there's so much going on around her specifically king of swords the truth the truth we all want the truth it is it is piercing him it is in his face he can't get away from it everybody wants truth and clarity everybody wants this breakthrough and he wants to break through as well he's going through a breakdown right the seven of swords and the fool everything that he's tried to make this right every new idea 
for every new attempt to make this right has been deceptive. He's running away from his problem. It's just continuous betrayal and dishonesty, sneaky and sly behavior, right? It is like theft in daylight, theft, theft of what? Theft of truth, theft of peace, theft of reality, right? It's a lot of behind the scenes, negative action from reality. So everything that he is trying or has tried is based around dishonesty. And that's what his energy is sitting in now, is this dishonest, unjust, untruth, creating problems and running away from them because they're getting bigger. They're getting difficult to handle. Five of Pentacles. Failing. Failing. Truth is wealth. Truth is health. It is a great worry. It is misery. His energy is miserable. He's in his own poverty, poverty of mind, poverty of emotions, poverty in his health. And I have said before that he is undergoing a mental, emotional breakdown, a crisis. And I do feel that this will have a physical effect on his body, meaning his health. But not play up just yet, or if it has, it's not being announced and it won't be. But it is coming. This is five. Fifth, the energy of today's vibration. May, five. Fear. Change. The fear for change. A lot is changing in the system itself. And it will affect them financially. The chariot. At the, let's have a look at the bottom. We have the five of swords. We have the five of swords. We have the empress again. We have the world. A lot is changing. So perhaps the truth that we're seeking, we have the five of wands. We have justice, right? We have justice. We have death. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, all action energy. So what this is telling me is, it, it's a lot of cards. So let me put this down, right, with the chariot, with the chariot. Look forward to a lot of happenings. A lot of things will play out. We've been saying it to you, but every time we say it, we want you to know that you have already experienced some of it. And there's more to come. There's a lot to come. So this chariot card is going to show up often as time is nearing for the next one and the next one to be revealed. With the Five of Swords, this war on this woman will come out to the world, Six of Pentacles, distribution, to receive the information that we are searching for, looking for, right? These are all the cards supporting. Here, the battle that went on, this war, yes, five again, justice is being seeked for this death, out of pentacles it's taking so long but it is promised it's coming knight of wands the action being taken the preparation that is underway currently for this to come out right so he knows about it he knows about it obviously he does they are preparing he is involved so there's a lot going on Right. 
a lot going on. His absence and avoidance from public is part of all of this. It's having to relive everything in a way that will not only affect him personally, but it will affect the world globally. And it will be reliving a childhood for him as well. What else? The Emperor, almost out in reverse. What? But sideways. Controlled by the powers that be. The Father and the ones higher. They have a very significant role in his life. They are controlling him to an extent, dictating and instructing, and therefore he has got to follow. So he is not in a good place either. There's a lot of cards. Let's see. Page of Swords. News. News. Media. Pay attention to news that are important, that are valid and true. Right? There will be news coming out. And it will be about this. The emperor making announcements, the king making announcements, or powers that be making announcements. Right. So we have the two of pentacles, which is the juggling of positions. Right, the juggling of positions, making decisions for the right people or for people to be taking over duty to run the system, to keep it going. Hangman, five of cups, king of cups. Who's the king of cups? William, he's the next king. If I've got the emperor on the table, then this is William. Depression, sadness, mourning. Hangman, they've got to come out of the stalling, right? Two of Pentacles, they've got to make a decision to do this now. But it's all showing up, the time is coming. So that's where his energy is sitting currently. And this confused, difficult, and how is the world going to receive it? That is the biggest problem. Right. Spirit, is there any other message? The Eight of Wands fell out to my right. Just as I picked the deck to shuffle. So, eight. Action. As above, so below. Speed. Haste. Right. They are preparing at lightning speed. They want everything sorted out for that announcement. When it comes, everything will be in order so they're not just working on the physical process they're working on many other things behind the scenes not on this matter only but on the king's matters as well how will the handover to be how will the takeover be who will be doing what how to deal with the children remember monarchy is aging i mean the people in the monarchy are aged and that generation will start clearing out in the coming years so they need stability if they want this to continue and that's what they're working on it's continuity right so there's a lot playing out there's so much happening that we do not know about and I think that's where we stop just to let you all know that this is what his state is. Right? He's not in a good space at all. I just want some validation from this deck. The pre-shuffle, the hermit is in reverse. Talking about everything that was hidden, that was quiet, will have to now start surfacing. Right? From that cave of hiding, they have to walk out. Temperance. Temperance was in reverse in the previous deck, meaning 
he couldn't seem to put it together now he'll be forced to put it together and come out taking action he'll have to choose which road he wants to go which path to take so they're deciding on what matter to address first right they're juggling they're choosing they're deciding they're playing around it is it's no longer checkers it's it's like a chess game now right see the two horns on this particular deck cod from this deck right so there is a possibility of two they're preparing for two processions and you know what i'm talking about the last judgment right the last judgment judgment is coming we know that we see it in almost every reading justice and judgment and this is what we're seeking and spirit says we know we're with you we understand we haven't forgotten it is our priority fortitude the eight everything is eight it's this year strength have the strength people keep going shine your light be the lions in your heart in your mind in your stamina in your fortitude oh, let's do that again show me from here what would you like to say or add Ten of Pentacles, wealth, money, finance, right? That is priority. That is what they're trying to keep together. Trying to secure this. That's what they're working on. Tower. They're worried about it coming down. They're worried about losing this wealth, this Ten of Pentacles. See? That's what they're worried about. He's working on this reshuffling, rescheduling, realigning, rebalancing, reappointing. Right, that's what they're working on. Anything else? Seven of Swords. Deception. Everything is a lie. Everything is a lie. Everything that you see that will be happening about them that's in positive light is but an agenda it is not about you or the people it is about them it is about securing the system to go on it's about that but they do not know that the towers are falling well they do they do know that it's falling but they still try everything to save it they know the times are, are over They know that so it's all deception thank you okay let's move on to little George the eldest please show us spirit how involved I've got the moon that just jumped out before I can complete my sentence. My question, um, before I could complete the sentence I meant, my question is, show us how involved Prince William is as a father in Prince George's life. How involved and interactive and active he is as a father, as a dad in Prince George his life we have the moon that came out right so we can see shady shadowy as little as possible if he does visit possibly slipping in quickly and out not being clear in the hiding avoidance let's build on that show us what else
the Nine of Cups. He is not very involved. He is self-serving. He's concerned about him. He's busy with his own agenda. Right, he's content about what he is doing. He's busy doing the emperor. He's busy with the king, the system, the wheel. Right, he's busy with what he needs to do in the system. So he's not very involved right now. He's trying to save and to learn he is future king. So he's not involved with the children much. And this played up here already that that's what they're busy doing. No, that was not meant to go there, sorry. This is just a supporting card. And what else do we have? Seven of Cups. No, he's busy. He's distracted with the system. Eight of... Yeah, see, he's tied up. He's tied up. Let's just put the deck down. He's tied up with what is happening. He's busy with the king, the system, trying to figure out how to get this assignment, project, all of that that they're working on to go ahead as planned. So he's distracted there. He's not involved with the children much. He's tied up there. He can't get out of that. But he is the next future king. So he's got to keep it together. Right? Perhaps there'll be an announcement of him stepping in. Coming in. Well, there will be, but perhaps that is what they are diligently working on, which I do feel is happening right now. It's a matter of the announcements. A lot is happening behind the scenes. We are agitated and restless because we're not hearing everything, but they're also weighing the pros and cons of a move. If I go in now, I need to make sure that the laws are passed. Uh, until then... The, the king's got to do his work before the future one can step in and be judged. You understand where I'm going with this, right? So everything's got to be secure for the one that's going to get there. Please show us clearly how active, involved William is as a dad, a father in George's life at this current time. Is he doing much? Six of Wands. No, he's not. He's worried about his own victory. He's not. The Six of Wands is about winning the battle. And not just winning it, you've won it. You've accomplished it. It's time for the parade. It's time for... The appearance but this too I have said before could also mean a procession right he's preparing for the announcement he's preparing to face the world the public so that is keeping him busy there there's nothing about the children at all. Nothing about George here. You can see it is just self-serving. There's no emotion. The witch. Mag the, the magician. Right. Putting all the plans together. That's what he's doing. They're working behind the scenes to put all the plans together for that six of wands. There's nothing to do here with George. He's almost absent from his life. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? The sun. The 
this is meant to be your happy outcome the joy the fulfillment of a childhood this is what it is, is meant to be spirit says it's supposed to be everything this So what else? The Knight of Wands. And that's the direction it should be going. Can you see? This is the direction it is meant to go. To be there for the children. To be the light in their lives, the encouragement, the hope, the support. That's the action he should be taking. That is what he should be focused on. Give me one more, please. Page of Pentacles. Can you see? Here's a little boy. Here's a little boy. Now the cards. And spirit is not. You know, I just want to cry right now. Because we waited so long to see a little boy. Something to point to George. He's been distracted by everything else. But he could have a pet. He has toys. He has things to entertain him. He has people that are trying. But what is he doing? He's been taught to play the game. Can you see this child trying to perform magic here on this pentacle? So he is now being magically prepared. And I use that word in italics because you understand what I am saying. He's being prepared, programmed, conditioned, disciplined to come in line. So he's not having an ordinary childhood. He's got to learn a lot. This is a child that is practicing something he's been asked to perfect. I'm choosing one from this deck. On the pre-shuffle, we have the child card. And this is what a child should look like. Happy, free, playful, laughing. Show me from this card, this deck, sorry, a card, a message, what it is that you need us to know. Coffin. Coffin. It is a sadness instead of a happiness. It's a depression. It's an ending, a loss. Now we know this, don't we? But your spirit saying, I am reminding you that we are on the same page. Do not forget for a minute that I do not know that. What you are feeling, we are feeling. So this is the loss and the sadness of George. And this is what they are engaged in. This is what will be announced. Thank you. Is there a message from this deck, please? There's a lot of cards that fell out. Nine of Wands, King of Swords, Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is Catherine. Five of Pentacles. Right, look at all the pain. All her pain is showing up. King of Swords, Truth, Nine of Wands, Action. This is all about her. All the readings end up about her, and of course it is. We can't get away from it. She shows up reminding us what her child's pain is about. Is there a message here, please? Spirit says, I've given you all the messages and the cards that fell. All right, 
Ten of Swords. That is the ultimate ending. At the bottom we have the Three of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles. I shuffled this deck about five or six times and all these cards are still grouped together. There's the justice behind it. For great love that went wrong, or a love that went wrong. See? Ten of Swords, death, the ending, stabbing in the back, a kill. In the literal sense, Three of Swords, the pain, the heartache that this family is going through and the world. The Queen of Pentacles is Catherine. She is the Queen of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. The sorrow, the loss. Everything's going down. There's the justice. All right. Can you give me a message from this deck? 33. That is meant to be the Christed energy. This family was meant to be a blessing. Something to go forward. Something to bring happiness. But what happened? There's the five of change again. The five of clubs. Five of Wands, the conflict. The conflict, the disagreement, the problems, the trouble for someone else to win. Right, there's lightning. Everything had to change. This once happy family, these three children, three leaves of the clover, the three children lightning struck them their lives changed thank you let us move on to prince louis at the bottom is the nine of cups his mother's little boy her energy reflecting her pregnancy it was the last one it is still so felt and and real as if it all this time hadn't gone past so quickly it's very there she's still very maternal and he is connected to his mother he's a child he feels her constantly. That's what she's saying. That's what the message is. He is very connected to his mother. Right? And he will be up to seven years, up to 21 years actually, but for seven years of your child, your new child, your little baby reaches seven to develop, that's when the base chakra, the root chakra is fully developed for that child to stand up and to feel strong and to survive and to feel it can take its steps to understand better. Page of Swords. Will he ever be able to express himself fully and totally? Right, here's he in nature, taking a liking to nature. And I have said before that he will find his healing in nature. And whatever he pursues in life, whatever brings him joy to make of himself, he will find himself gravitating to nature. He will become one with nature and nature with him. That is where he will be grounded, aligned and balanced and healed. And his vision, his, his intuition, his psychic abilities will thrive, will awaken for him. And then he will get revelations. Right, can you see all this 
symbology, that is when he will develop, the fire will come out of him. That energy, that ambition that he will have, he will find the healing and he will connect and resonate. That's when he'll understand the judgment, the justice, the hierophant, the truth. When he goes into his inner sanctuary and finds the divine, he will find his healing and his answers for his life. That will be his fulfillment because there is not a lot of memories that he can and will remember as he ages. He's far too young. He will learn from his siblings as much as they can. He will look at photos. He will look at videos. He will go onto social media and he will go and find the things. But when he develops his psychic abilities, then he will be able to learn the truth. That will be his win. So he needs protection to be able to develop that. Show us how involved. I didn't complete the sentence. The very same question is how involved William is with George as a father, Five of Pentacles. He's not, he's isolated, right? Can you see a skull here? That's death. You don't put a skull next to you as a piece of ornament, as an artifact, to just leisure with it. It is showing you the pain, the sadness that this that he's going through. And he's not very involved with the little one. There's a separation here. There's five again. Change. So much is changing. Six of swords at the bottom. Running away from the problem. Sailing away. Walking away. Moving away. Right? Not facing it. Not facing it. This is a war that he is fighting. William is fighting an internal war. A war that is going to take him down. Mentally, emotionally, physically is going to take him down. Because nobody can help you with a war like that. There's the four card. Right? This is like a little Louis wanting to be playful but will grow up even as an adult not knowing his full childhood or how to be a child and he will ache for that still in his adult life and William is absent from these very initial little steps that he needs to take to help him there. Knight of Swords. William is taking his own actions because he is being hurried. He is being He's being brought up to speed. Everything is quick. Everything has to be done quickly. And I've said this before. Behind the scenes, everything is being rushed and hurried. Quick action. Swift action. Cut all the corners. Get to the point. Be direct. It's all of that that's happening. He doesn't have time for Louis. Right? He's under pressure here. So that is why he cannot be the father he needs to be to either of the boys. We haven't even taught Charlotte yet. So any, anything at all that can help us understand 
his interaction with Louis at this time. His love. Ace of Wands. He acknowledges him, he knows. He wish he could hold him tightly. If you look at this hand, he knows he's there, but he can't hold him, he can't hug him, he can't be there with him. Right, this stick that has crystals at the end, it's not about the stick or the crystals, it's about the fact that his palm is open, his hand is open. You cannot hold something with an open palm, can you? It will slip, slip away, it will fall. You don't have it in your control. So he's not in control right now to have this child in his control. He can't hold him. He's nowhere near that at this point. But he knows his children. He knows his children. He knows how much he could do for the children to help Louis come out of this, to bring that, switch the lights on and help him. He knows that, but he can't get to that. He can't do it. So tell us why can't he? What is holding him back? Six of Cups, strength. He doesn't have the strength to be with his children, right? He doesn't have the strength to be with his children. And they are in different directions in their mind. They're in different spaces. They're in different consciousness. He can't cope with that. See, everything around them is trying to switch the lights on for them. But they're searching, they're looking. Ace of Swords. Oh my word, look at you, the devil. The hangman. He can't deal with the children. It's too painful. It's too painful. So he's avoiding them. He's avoiding the children. He knows all of this. Right, it is evil. It is negative. He knows what's happened. Obviously, he knows what's happened. He's hiding under the water. He's hiding away from this. He doesn't want to face it. He can't face the children. He's no good to them right now. Let's put it that way. He himself is not in a good space. He's been controlled. He's been influenced and he knows what's happened. So he's hiding away. Right? He's hiding away. He cannot be the mother to a cop. He can't be. He knows that. Anything else? Seven of Pentacles. Now look at this. This is like little Louis. Oh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> this is the prize of the family, the reward, the blessing. This is his mother's joy. This is Catherine's joy. This is the hope 
of her hopes. This is the turning point in her life for a different journey for her children. The first seven years of his life she intended to spend so closely and bring him to this beautiful, magical, sparkly life, you know, to be there for him. And this is what his life should be, Spirit says. To have all of these memories and the happiness to just live this little magical life. The hermit, the world. At the bottom is death. But his world is not the same anymore. He is now in a hidden, isolated space. He has retreated from the world. And one day he will return to this world. This little boy will become very close to nature, to the world. He will come out of his hiding when he is enlightened enough and he will be part of this beautiful world with nature. That will be his family. He will be his true and expressive self. And at the bottom we had the death card, right? We don't need interpretation for this. We understand this. Right, I'll leave that there. Let's move on. A message from here, please. A lot of cards fell out, but I managed to save the one that was at the bottom. We have the mountain, we have the rider, we have the stork. That's a little sign from spirit. We have the child card. This was what I needed to show you. This is what his life is meant to be. Young, innocent, playful, happy, joyous, jumping for joy. But it is clouded. It is now confused. There is... No transparency and meaning anymore. He's isolated. He doesn't see and understand anything like he used to be. He's meant to be this child. He's meant to do children things. I to be loved. The love he receives, the things that he has, is not helping him. Because the main ingredient is missing. message from here please well this card tried to flip let me have a look at it four of wands two of wands two of wands and Princess of Pentacles. That's the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Devil card. The universe is peeping out. That's the World card. So much of crime. So much of negativity. We have the Star here as well. At the bottom of the deck is Death. The Empress. The Death of the Empress. 
the one that is meant to mean the most in his life, his mother. Oh Lord, you don't hear me sigh like that. If you only feel how my chest is tightening, I can barely talk. Give me a message, please, from this deck. Right, we have 44, the Eight of Swords. Sorry, the Eight of Pentacles. The broken glass foretells ill luck for long years, if near. Right, broken glass. What is broken you can't repair. You cannot stick broken glass together and expect it to look the same. They are sh he is shattered to pieces. This is what the message is. And 24. King of Pentacles. Hand in hand. What are they shaking to? What are they agreeing to? All this nonsense going behind the scenes with the ones in power that are continually controlling this. Just put all these cards together that, that became a big mess. I'm choosing another deck, but one more question. Can you show us, Spirit, how is little George responding to, or what would he like to say in response to how he feels about his father at this time? What is his, his emotions? I'm trying to be very neutral here. Right? Tell us how George is feeling about his father. What does his energy want to tell us? What is little George wanting to say? Nine of swords fell out to my right. The bottom is the devil. Right. He's in agony. He's in a lot of agony. He's very angry. He's upset. He feels deceived and betrayed. He has a lot of questions. He's not resting. He cannot sleep. And he's not happy with dictation and instruction. Too many people are trying to control him and tell him what to do and how to run his life, how to live his life. He's just a few years old. He's 11. But he's tired already. It's becoming too much for him. Anything else? Queen of Cups. He's looking for the emotions and understanding and maternal energy of a mother. That will satisfy him the most. Right. Thank you. Please give me. On little Louis. How does he feel? What does he want to tell his father? Or express to him. If he had to say something. What does he want to say? He doesn't want to say much, but you'll be surprised what he wants to say. 
justice. There's another one. Louis is big on justice, right? In his reading already, justice emerged. I'm not sure if it's from the same deck, but I did answer a question that came in the comments about justice and Louis, and I did explain that there. And let me say a little bit about that. The question or the comment was, how does little Louis know anything about justice or something to that effect? He does, because we're talking to a soul energy, a higher consciousness of who he is. In his little mind, to him, justice is my family. I want everything to be the way it used to be. That's his justice. That's what he's trying to say. But I want to go back to what it was. I want my mom. I want my family. I want my home. I want my friends. I want to do the activities that I once did. I want to feel how I used to. Right? Nothing to pretend about. Nothing to... Nothing to feel afraid of or, or to see people I don't want to see or I don't even like. To be told what to do, how to live. Um, my mom did it differently. We were normal. I was normal. I was happy. That's what his meaning of justice is. What Spirit is saying, because of all of that, absence of, for that injustice, they identify what the meaning of the justice is. So that is what he's calling for. He's asking for justice. He wants to tell his father, I want my life like it used to be, the way it was, how it used to be. I want that. He's not understanding what is going on. Can you see here? Isolation. Isolation. He's trying to figure it out inside of him. It, it cannot telly. It does not telly. Because he doesn't understand in its totality. He is a little child. He, with the page of swords, it's everything he's being told. How to be, how to live, how to sit, how to eat, what to do, when to do it. He's tired of it. He doesn't want that. Right? He's tired of this. He wants justice. That's what he wants. That's what he wants to tell his father. I don't want this anymore. That's the tantrum. That's the him um, becoming... Uh, rebellious that is him throwing the toys out of the cot so to speak right that is why his father cannot hold on to him cannot grasp him cannot bring him into his control because he wants what he wants he will slip out of his father's grip there we have it two boys that are missing the important masculine figure in their lives at the critical ages of growing up and having that foundation that they need because of circumstances beyond their control it is a great sadness but let us continue to send love and light and fight this battle against the war that is going on and extinguish the opposite of light. And whatever is happening behind the scenes for these children to clear their mind and bring them into being abnormally normal, if you understand what that means, by whatever conditioning, let us pray and send light that that have little to no effect on them. That whatever they try will keep slipping and not working like butter, melted butter in a pan that just keeps sliding. It can't stick there. It's, it's fluid, it's liquidy. It will just keep flowing out. It will go and will flow back out. And that's what we need to do with light. Please refer to a channeling I did on healing the royal children. It's on the royal 
channeling playlist. You can use this technique every day, several times, amp up the light, let it flow stronger and brighter on all the children. That whatever is being done, it would only be love and fill them with the memories of their childhood, their connectedness to their mother. Do not let that fade in the back. Do not let that be wiped out. They need that. That is their grounding, their foundation. Right, so hold them together and do this. Please, I love you. I thank you. I bless you. Till next.